Hello and welcome back to Tales of Lumen. Today, I'm just saying, hey, I'm back again. I've said this like so many times over the past couple of weeks, but the uploads are actually going up right now. And over the next couple of days, you're going to see all sorts of really cool content that I've been wanting to put up for the past who knows how long already. So I'm happy about that. It's really cool to actually get back to work and have it mean something, you know, but... That said, in this, I suppose I'm just going to talk a little bit about what I've got coming up. And then, starting maybe tomorrow or the next day, we're going to start talking about other stuff again. I want to talk about movies. I've been wanting to talk about movies for a long time. A couple of movies that we watched recently that I need to say my piece about. Be it good or bad, doesn't really matter. I want to talk about them. But, first thing you can expect, it's going to be starting up tomorrow, is a new, reasonably brief Let's Play... It's going to be The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. I was going to, you know, perhaps not spoil it, but I want to just get you guys mentally ready for it. It's not the kind of game that I think everyone enjoys, but I do feel like it's a really good game to watch a Let's Play of, because it's maybe not the kind of game you want to buy, you know? That's cold coffee. <clears throat> it's terrible, but it's here. It's all I've got. Okay, but it's maybe not the kind of game you want to buy because a lot of people wouldn't really see it as a game. I do. Okay, there's actually a lot that you have to do in it. It's not just like... What was the other one? Dear Escher? Was it that? The one where you literally just walk through the game from start to finish and you have someone talking to you. It's not the same as that. You actually have to do some detective work. There are little secrets and easter eggs that you find. And the way I set this Let's Play up is that I pre-recorded all of it. Over two days, I recorded a lot of it. And I think that that was the best way of doing that specific game, just because I wanted all of it to be fresh in my mind as I went through it. And I gotta say that that helped, because when you get to the end, they give you a little recap of what you were meant to experience throughout the game. I guess that's the best way of explaining it. And I had them all checked. I had seen everything. I was really happy about that. I didn't accidentally miss anything. So if you do watch my Let's Play, you get in the full authentic experience. Full because I saw everything authentic because it is the first time I played through the game. And, well, experience because experience. There you go. So that's coming up. I really enjoyed the game. I don't know if I'm going to talk more about the ending of it. I might. Who knows? Because at the time of finishing it, I didn't quite understand everything. But that's just something that I want you guys to see for yourselves, experience for yourselves. And then you can come to your own conclusions about it and maybe share them with me on the last video. That would be fun. And then when that's out in the wild... I'll do a Tales of Lumen video talking about the ending of The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. So, that sounds good to me. Then, other than that, the One Minute Guide has been going really well. Really well. Happy with it. The Zulok deck that I uploaded was not received quite as merrily as some of the others. Just because of the tainted reputation of Zoo at the moment. I mean, if you guys have been watching any of the Road to BlizzCon games, then you'll know... How infuriating it can be having a zoo deck be, well, part of anything. Just because a lot of people are saying they just autopilot their way to victory. Because you see people playing, players playing Zulok and 3-0 in their opponents who bring all these cool creative decks to the game. Then they just come with a Zulok, bam, 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 done. So the Zulok one minute guide, good views. Good reception for the most part, but there were some people who were just like, Okay, get this cancer out of my face. <laughs> That's it. That's the one that I just see. They, they call it that. It's kind of rude, okay? It's just a dick. Seriously. <laughs> anyway. So that was going well. All the one minute guides have been received well. I do also have really high hopes for the Transmog series, which is going to be one minute Mog or one minute Mogs. Not sure which of the two it's going to be yet, but it's going to be in the same style 
that the Guild Wars 2 armor videos were back in the day, but a little bit shorter and a little bit more informative, so I'm going to give you the items of the actual transmog. I'll give you the transmog, how it looks, then the items, then tell you where you can get them, how hard they are to get, and so on and so forth. I think it's going to be super cool. Okay, it's something that I personally am passionate about. I love transmogging. Sometimes I get so lost in it, I just sit, okay, I just sit here for like an hour straight, fiddling with transmogs, and then suddenly I realize it's an hour later and I haven't really done much of anything except look at virtual armor in World of Warcraft. That's, that's the kind of thing I like doing, okay? That's why I like making hour-long character creation videos, because it's the same kind of thing. That customization is just king where I'm concerned, but there you go, that's maybe coming up soon. Then, Adventure Worthy is back. First one will be coming out this week. I've got it done, but I just need to render it and then upload it, obviously. The new format of Adventure Worthy, I think it could still use some work, but I'd like your input. I'd like to hear what you guys think about what I've done with it. So when it does come up, please just go ahead. Tell me what you think. Be brutally honest. I don't care if you say this part sucks, that part sucks, and this should be completely redone. That's fine. I'd like to hear that kind of thing because I'm also not sure about it. I like the direction that I'm taking with it, but I'm not sure about it. I'm going to be uploading an Adventure Worthy and then an Adventure Worthy Extras. And the way I've done it now, you'll see it when it comes up, is that the Adventure Worthy Extras actually happen chronologically first. So I play the game first before doing the Adventure Worthy. I record my first impressions of it. Those are the extras. Okay, so I put them aside, then I do the adventure worthy. I usually actually play the game for a good bunch, either before or after or whatever. Then I do the adventure worthy, then I use some of the extras, gameplay highlights or clips or whatever in the adventure worthy itself. And then in the adventure worthy I talk about the game instead of actually play it just blind for 20 minutes. I feel like that's a better way of doing it. Then you get the best of both worlds. Then if you want the 100% like first impressions type thing, you just wait for the extras. If you want both, if you want the impressions that I've got of the game after playing it a little bit, my likes and dislikes, the actual hard facts about the game, then you watch the Adventure Worthy. And if you want both, then you just check both out. I like it. Okay, I like the way that I've done it. And I'd like to hear what you guys think about it as well. So that's coming up. I've already got the Q&A questions on my desktop, so that's going to start up again as well. I'm hoping that this is something that will continue. There's obviously Hearthstone already waiting to go up. That's probably even going to go live tonight, just before this. So don't even worry. Okay, I'm back at doing these things. I might get some World of Warcraft up soon as well, because I do ex expect the pre-patch to be out next week. So maybe one or two World of Warcraft videos. You can also tell me what you want to see in World of Warcraft. I wouldn't mind hearing that. I think I might even do a Transmog video just because, but then the thing is, if I do a transmog video, then I spoil some of the transmogs that I've got saved up, so I might not do that. I think it might be a bad idea. We'll see. But I'm going to get back to doing things now. I might record the Q&A. I might take a break and play one of the games that I'm doing Adventure Worthy on. I have gotten in contact with the guys from Evolve PR, and they're sorting me out with a whole bunch of games to play, so I can do a whole bunch of Adventure Worthies. The chances are they will be coming out one per week. So I will do the one that I've done now this week. It's going to come out maybe Wednesday. I don't know. And then I'll start working already now on next week's one. And so on and so forth. But there you go. Oh, also, the reason I chose Ethan Carter as well as a Let's Play is because it's kind of short. It'll probably be, I'm guessing, 8 to 10 parts. Not entirely sure yet. So will have to edit all of that and that's something that I don't even want to get started on right now you don't want to know how much trouble I've had with editing and rendering over the past couple of days with Sony Vegas being terrible and then Adobe Premiere sucking and then both of them just making my life a living hell it's been bad got some help from some people I googled a little bit I spent hours and hours trying all the different settings and options out I think I finally figured out most of the issues that I had. So hopefully I'm going to be able to render stuff at good enough quality now. I don't know what changed really, but you know, 
I decided to take a long hard look at my rendering quality and fix things. But I hope you guys see the difference. You guys appreciate the difference. I was going to say something about Ethan Carter. Right. I wanted to choose a shorter game because I've got a Let's Play that's coming up next week as well. Some of you may already know what it is. But on the 15th, a really near and dear to my heart game is launching. So I'm super keen for that. But there you go. I'm done. Check back here soon for more. Give it a like, share it, and do all that other stuff. Most importantly though. Happy uploading things again. Happy watching videos. Happy that.